Hi guys, Chris here. Okay, you just get back to your vehicle from a hike and you find out that your cell phone, the battery is lower, it died, or you forgot your charging cable, or your GPS is, is non-existent. I'm gonna show you how not to get lost. Hey guys, Chris here. Welcome to the Base Camp Review Show. Uh, we got a lot of things to go over today. Uh, first off, we're going to go over the the road atlases and why these are important. Uh, we also have a top five hiking memes again, and then we're going to go over. I just talked real briefly about some things coming up uh, in in the show here. Uh, I know everybody likes their cell phones and their GPSs and, and all that. I do too. I've got an iPhone 7 Plus and I use it all the time. Uh, but sometimes these phones don't always work. The batteries don't always are, are charged. You forget your charging cable. The GPS isn't working. The Wi-Fi is not working. You drop the darn thing in the lake. Who knows? Something Things happen to these electronics. And so what this is... What these road atlases, they're, they're comprehensive state atlases for every single state in the country. And they are just a really nice plan B to have in case something doesn't work out. I've always had one in my vehicles. I've lived in Minnesota, Montana, now I'm in Nevada. And I've always had one of these in the back of my vehicle, behind the seat. I got a nice little pouch and I slide it in there. And if I need to, I can ch check it out and keep me out of trouble. So we're going to take a look at this uh, right now. Uh, first off, these things are uh, very nice. They, 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 like I said, the entire state is included in one one of these atlases. You can get these at Amazon, Target, Walmart. I carries them. I've seen them at Walmart. They're about 15 bucks, 15 to 20 bucks. Uh, what you do is you go to the back and you can see the grid and each each number in each box on this grid represents that part of the state. And so what you do is you just simply open up the book and you can see that's right there. And then that'll take you right to those pages. Uh, what's really nice is that they are, they show the national lands, they show casinos, <laughs> this is Nevada, so we got casinos, state parks and rec areas. They have coordinates on here to get you to these locations. So here's a state park, Fort Churchill State Park, at the, and you go to, to the specific page here, it tells you 42 D5, and you, then there's coordinates on here that you line up A, E, and take you right to wherever you're going. But just like any map, that's what, the, what they do. Uh, this also has campgrounds, which are really nice. Uh, tells you, it does, it's not comprehensive. It doesn't show every single campground, but it gives you a really good idea of the campgrounds, golf courses, hunting. There's fishing. Look at all the stuff for fishing. This is just in Nevada, which is a very dry state, but there you can figure out which fish are in each each of these streams. It gives you the, again the the, uh, the page and the grid for it to track that down. Here's some hikes. Uh, again, we got uh, we got information about the hikes. It gives you uh, the the national forest, the location, where you're going. But just very nice. Here's wildlife viewing, cross country skiing, downhill skiing, some major attractions. And then this is your main grid here. And so we're gonna look at 42 and page 43 of this atlas. Hey, we got, got lucky on that one. And we'll flip this thing open. And there we go. This is where I live, is in Reno up here. Where's Reno? Right right up here. 
But look at the pretty, the pretty good, the nice detail that you get. You're getting some mountain ranges. You're getting some topographical features. You can see uh, state parks in here. The the main roads, the secondary roads, even some dirt roads. Now this is where we got to be careful because these dirt roads, this is like in Forest Service or BLM land, and we're seeing that some roads exist here, but they're not showing specifically enough. So at that point, you're going to want to get the topographical map of just that specific area. If you're off-roading, if you're hiking back in here, and you don't have this map, I would get those maps for, for those more detailed. But this gives you just a great overview of the region. And uh, you can see, if you were to compare this to your regular road atlas, you can see that these, I mean, here's the entire United States of America on two pages. And then each state is represented by one one page and so really you're just getting the general freeways where the major cities are a few of the, some of the smaller cities but you're not getting that detail so these really are not very helpful when we're you're getting out there like us outdoor people do we go camping fly fishing hiking and we're getting into the national forest and getting way back in here and you really want to kind of you want to see what's going on so I would highly recommend getting one of these for the state that you live in. And if you're from another country, look and see what they have for your country. And if they have some nice road atlases that break that down. But look, at, look here's the mountain ranges. You can see the canyons and the, and, the, and the peaks. And it even shows, it even has the names of the peaks here and the altitude. But these are wonderful. Uh, I would, uh, in fact, I'm going to get another one. I'm going to get Northern California. I do a lot in Northern California. And like I said, they're about $15 to $20. I would go online and type in DeLorme State Atlas and Gazetteer and then figure out, you know, pick, pick your state and then just see what you can find. Um, so anyways, take a look at those, and we'll be right back after this. It's the fishing invention of the century, Popeil's Pocket Fisherman. Compact enough to fit glove compartment or your pocket. It's rod, reel, line, bobber, hook, the whole thing. Just flip up nylon rod, and you can cast like a pro anywhere. Expert or amateur will love Pocket Fisherman, and does it catch fish? Can you think of a more exciting gift for Junior or Dad than just $19.95? All right. Welcome back to the Base Camp Review Show. Uh, next time up on the show, we're going to be talking about the Ronco Pocket Fisherman. We'll take a look at that, see if that's worth anything. Uh, we're going to unbox it. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to cast it. And then I'm going to see if I can get, get any fishing with it. Uh, this time of year might be kind of tough, but we're going to see what we can do. Uh, also, we have some musical guests coming from Europe. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Uh, it should be pretty good. Uh, in my right hand here, I have tonight's top five list. Top five hiking memes. We found these on the internet, as always, and uh, these are pretty good. Let's get to it, shall we, kids? Number five. At the age of 65, my grandma started walking five miles a day. She's 92. We have no idea where she is. <laughs> Grandma's in pretty good shape, I'm, I'm guessing, by this point. Uh, she started off in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and ended up in Tierra del Fuego. <laughs> good for Grandma. Number four. Dude, that camping trip was intense. <laughs> That's my best uh, dude voice I can do there, so... Number three, go camping, they said. It'll be fun, they said. 
I've had actually mornings where I've woken up like that. You just like, what happened the night before? Good Lord. Number two. I'd like to sing a little song about a guy I ate. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute isn't he cute so cute and yet he's a mass murderer <laughs> good night <laughs> okay number one and the number one hiking meme finally gets picked first by hungry wolves there you go ladies and gentlemen <laughs> poor guy he just wanted to join the club here so <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank the DeLorme atlases, road atlases, hiking atlases, whatever we call them, whatever the darn thing is, and uh, the World Wide Web for the memes. Uh, thanks for watching. Happy camping and keep hiking. Uh, good night, everybody. It's been fun.